Hey everyone, let's get started and install Blender Octane first. Search Blender Octane Autoy and click on the first link, then click on the free trial option and select Octane Render Prime and hit on Try Now. Download and install both of these setups. After installing, all you need to do is start Octane Server and run Blender. Go to Add-ons folder and search Octane and enable it, then select Octane as the render engine. Before all that, make sure to open Octane Server from the taskbar menu and fill in your user ID password and click on Activate. If you're familiar with Blender's interface, you should not face any problem. First, we have the world set up. There are three types of environment you can use, daylight, planetary, and texture environment. Now, let's move on to the fun part that is texturing. In Cycles, we have Principal, BSDF, and here we have Universal Material. I'm using a texture from Quixel. You can use any texture, the result will be the same. For PBR textures, multiply albedo and ambient occlusion, then connect it to the base color. Same for roughness, normal, specular, and bump maps. Right next to the displacement, click on the plus icon, then select texture displacement. Set the mid-level to 0.500 and change the height accordingly. With the right values, you can have a beautiful looking texture in a matter of seconds without any subdivision or any use of modifiers. Now, let's change the position of the sun a bit so that our scene looks even better. After adding some reflective puddles and tweaking the sun position, the ground looks realistic without that much effort. Now let's add a light source in the scene in case we want a dark environment. In world setting, reduce the power to zero. And now we are good to go. I'm using a torus as my light source. To add emission to an object, click on the plus icon next to the emission socket in the universal material, then select texture emission. In Octane post-processing, we can change bloom and glare power, along with some other options like ray count and spectral intensity. So after you're done working on your render, you can play with these settings and get a better result. With the right values, it can make a huge impact on your scene and how your render looks. Also make sure to download the blend file provided in the description and set it as your startup file. I'm going to cover topics like lighting, volumetric fog, denoising, and stuff in the next video. Hope you all learned something new today. If you face any sort of issue, let me know down in the comments.